welcome to this lecture in this lecture we will discuss about risk groups and its types what is the definition of risk group <clears throat> according to who and nih risk groups are the classification that describe the relative hazards posed by the infective pathogens. Risk group levels do not always correspond to biosafety levels. It means that risk group level one microorganisms are not mandated to deal in the biosafety level one. According to NIH, HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, is risk group three microorganism is a part of the risk group three microorganism but when we work on hiv in the laboratory for research purpose we can do work on hiv in biosafety level two so the biosafety levels and the risk group and and the risk group levels are not corresponding to each other. The microorganisms are divided into four groups, four types. There are four types of risk groups. This division is based upon the pathogenicity of the microorganisms and even the availability of the effective treatment and preventive measures. Four types of risk groups as risk group one, two, three, and four. The risk group one microorganisms have lowest risk for both individual and community. And the risk group four microorganisms have highest risk for both community and even individual. Risk group one microorganisms have no or very low risk for both individual and community. These microorganisms are not uh, as much infective, are, are not, are not, uh, are not uh, dangerous for both animals and humans. And even uh, the risk group one microorganism cannot cause a serious infections in both animals and humans. The example of risk group one microorganism is E. coli. E. coli is a gram nectar rod bacteria. Keep in mind that as we are, uh, we divided the bacteria into four types of risk groups, same like with the parasites, fungi, and viruses. Fungi, viruses, and parasites are, parasites are also divided into four types of risk groups. Risk group two microorganisms have moderate individual risk and very low community risk. These microorganisms can cause serious infections in both human and animals, but the severity of risk group two microorganisms infection, severity of infection caused by risk group two microorganisms is more as compared to risk group one microorganism infection. As the number of risk group is increasing, the severity of the infection is also increasing. A pathogen that can cause human or animal disease, but is not a serious hazard for the body workers, the community or the environment. Laboratory exposures may cause serious infection but effective treatment and preventive measures are available and the risk of spread of infection is limited due to availability of effective treatment and preventive measures. Effective treatment, if that effective treatment and preventive measures are available, then it is best to overcome that, overcome the, uh, overcome over the spread of the infection among the population or the community. Example of this group two microorganism is Salmonella CPC and Burkholderia mellai. Risk group three microorganisms have highest risk for individual 
and very low risk for community. These microorganisms cannot spread from one individual to another, and even the effective treatment and preventive measures are also available. As already discussed in the risk group to microorganism, effective treatment and preventive measures were also available for risk group to microorganism, but the difference among the risk group two and three, when we talk about the effective treatment and preventive measures, the major difference is the duration of the treatment. The duration of the treatment in risk group three microorganism or the risk group three is prolonged as compared to risk group two. Example of risk group three microorganism is mycobacterium tuberculosis and SARS coronavirus. If you have an active mycobacterium tuberculosis infection, you will probably be treated uh, with multiple combination of antibacterial drugs uh, for duration six to 12 months. So the duration of treatment is prolonged as compared to risk group two microorganism infections. Risk group four microorganisms have highest a risk for both individual and community. Unfortunately, in risk group four, effective treatment and prevent uh, measures are not available yet. And uh, the spread of infection from one individual to another individual is more probable. And uh, uh, the spread of this infection may be directly or indirectly. A pathogen causes serious human or animal disease that can be readily transmitted from one individual to another directly or indirectly. Effective treatment and preventive measures are not available. The best example of risk group four is Ebola virus. Ebola virus is one of the virus against which no treatment and preventive measures are available. Thank you, thank you very much to listen and watching this video, thank you.